Hey guys, this is Dwayne again, and I'm here to show you guys how to run your Lincoln 140 MP welder with gas and solid core wire. Unlike the last couple of videos, we are not gonna be running flux core this time. We're gonna kind of go through and show you how to set up your machine and also kind of the differences from running with gas and running with flux core as we have in our previous videos. This time we actually have our welder set up with 7525. It's a argon CO2 mixture and we're gonna be running solid core wire. When we set this up, we have our line coming out of our machine and then it just goes into a regulator on our tank. So as you can see, this gauge shows me how much is actually in my tank. And then this one is actually showing the flow rate out of my welding gun. Always make sure that you open these bottles all the way up. Don't try and like open it halfway because these valves halfway like to leak a little bit. So always make sure that you open it all the way. So we switched back to the original tip that came on with this welder when we unpackaged it. So this is actually designed, so there's little ports that come out on the nozzle. This is designed for the gas to come out and actually penetrate into your weld. So again, we're running solid core. We have our flux core right here. As you can see, the flux core is more of a silver kind of finish. Your solid core is more of a bronze, brownish color. Uh, the flux core gets its silver from the actual inner shielding that's built into the wire. This is more for being outside. They actually design the flux core for bad weather, windy conditions, things like that. You want to run gas when you're actually in a more controlled environment like our shop. We can have fans, things like that, but we can control the direction and making sure that our gas is actually hitting our weld and not being blown away. Because if your gas isn't actually hitting your weld, that's when you're going to get porosity, you're going to get holes in your weld. If you're in your garage, just make sure that the wind isn't directly blowing on your welds. If you're outside in your driveway, run flux core. With the regulator valve too, I have mine set at about 30. So all you're gonna do to kind of change it is just turn this valve right here. Always make sure that you're researching the process that you're welding with. You're gonna run anywhere from like a 25 to a 45 volume. But again, that all depends on the process, what you're welding on, how hot you're running stuff, wire speed, things like that. Now, along with that, we had to change our welder setup to a DC positive for this. So what that means is in our, like we showed you in our previous videos, we had it actually set up for DC negative. So, all it is is our ground lead and this wire coming across, we actually just switched them. So we had our ground lead over on the positive side last time, now we have it on our negative side. So now we are actually set up for a DC positive. So now, grab my hood and I will lay down a weld for you guys and then we will actually go through and I'll kind of explain differences between running gas and flux core and actually show you guys a side-by-side -side comparison of the two. So again, you always want to make sure you do a couple dry runs, one to get comfortable and two just to make sure that your stick out, so making sure your distance between your material and your contact tip is correct, getting your 45 angle back towards your weld. Once you got that, and once you're comfortable, just run your bead. Just like that. We actually have our old sample here. Same kind of pattern. 
The only big difference is, is as you can see this one, your flux core actually runs a little bit hotter than you do when you're running gas. And that's why we're getting kind of more of a opened up puddle. To do that with gas, you're actually gonna have to do more of a pattern to actually spread that out. As you can see, I just did a back and forth motion and then just did it with my speed. That's the only thing I actually changed was my speed rate. So a little bit fast on the beginning, you can see how it kind of built up instead of actually diving down into the material. Slowed back down into more of a actual operating speed. Tried to go a little bit slower to kind of make it build out and then super fast and then slowed down back into our normal operating. So big differences though are in the appearance, like I said, like these aren't bad. They look, you can get a pretty good looking weld. It's just appearance wise, a lot of people like this appearance versus the flux core appearance. And remember, always weld in a ventilated area. Just make sure that your fan, anything like that, isn't actually blowing across the surface of your weld because that's when you'll start getting the porosity and things like that. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and hopefully you guys get a lot of information from it. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below. We'll get back to you on it. See you guys next time.